In today's tutorial, let's do the to the peak hat, and this is the sister of the peak cap. And let's begin that next. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today we're going to do the to the peak cap, and this is the sister of the peak cap. <laughs> Try saying that three times fast. I've already done a lot of outtakes with just the name alone. So today we're going to be working on this hat in order to do a really quite a beautiful finish to it. And this is slightly different and is the sister of the most famous and the popular hat on the Crochet Crowd. And let me show you the difference and let me just pull that up now. So here are the two hats and we have the peak cap and this is to the peak hat. And so the difference is really the majority of it is right in the top area here. Do you see how it's flat in the back of her head here? That's intentional. That is as per the design. So it flattens off on the top to give a flat head. Not everybody likes that. They would like it round. So the designers of Yarn Inspirations came up with an alternative version to get it more rounded at the top and have changed the stitch work there in order to satisfy the needs. You can also use the same button like you did here with here. So what we're gonna be doing today is that I'm gonna be taking you through the start to finish of this project here and you can see it's very similar but it has a different design here at the top. So without further ado you need a five millimeter size H crochet hook that you see here and it only requires one ball of Peyton's classic wool worsted. You can use an equivalent yarn if you cannot find this near you but you can also order it on yarnspirations.com if you would like to. So let's begin. We're gonna just go step by step. There's not too many rounds. It's actually quite an easy pattern to be able to follow and let's begin now. So let's begin. It says in the pattern notes that chain two at the beginning of a round does not equal a stitch. So we just gotta keep an eye out for that on this particular design and I know that's true because of the other one as well. So we're going to start off with the slip knot and that doesn't count as anything and just put it onto your hook and let's chain three and we're gonna start at the top of the hat and work our way down to the brim. So one, two and three and let's insert our hook into the beginning chain just like so. Yarn over and pull through and through. So through both loops and now you have the tight center ring of the top of the hat. Let's begin round number one. So round number one says to chain three and that counts as a double crochet. So one, two, three. Remember um, my pattern note was chaining two at the beginning of the round doesn't count as a stitch but this is chaining a three which counts as a double crochet so don't confuse that. So what we want to do is that we want to double crochet inside the center ring a total of 15 more times. So that chaining of three that you just did counts as one so there will be a total of 16 double crochets going around the center ring. So please do that now and just put in 16 total double crochets all the way around. So now I have 15 double crochets plus the chain three which gives me a total count of 16 of these posts going all the way around. Once you're satisfied just join it to the top at the beginning chain three to form a circle. So if you are bearing in your ends like I typically show in tutorial work what you wanna do at this point if you were bearing it at that point you can just sim simply just trim it out and therefore you'll never see the start. And if you watched when I uh, started you see how I buried it as I went and I do that pretty much in every tutorial when there's a hat involved. Let's move along for round number two. So watch very carefully as we do round number two. We're gonna do something unusual and you'll notice that there's kind of um, raised uh, lines in the top of the hat and we need to create that. So what we're gonna do is chain two that does not count as a stitch. Remember that now. So come down into the same one underneath and I want you to do a double crochet front post. So wrap the hook going into the side of the post and then out the other side pull through and pull through two and two. It's a double crochet but going through the side post. I want you to do that one plus the next one. And here's what we're gonna do slightly different. Now what we're going to do is double crochet between the space of the last double crochet. So in the space here just completely. So just go right in and double crochet. So you're not going into a stitch at all. So what we're gonna do then is that we want to continue to do the same thing all the way around. So the next two are going to be in the front post double crochet. So go around that post, do two in a row just like that and then uh, into the space that's available to you just double crochet. Get that? So let me show again. So into the side post for two in a row front post double crochets those are called and then into the space right here is that you're gonna put in a double crochet. Please do that same idea going all the way around. So I'm coming up all the way around I just did two front post double crochets and now I'm going into the space and if your counts are right there will be two left of these double crochets when you're done. 
just like that. So we're just gonna do these two front post double crochets but we're not quite done yet. Just we've got one more thing to do in order to keep this pattern in balance. You got one more step and that's the space in between. So go right into the space in between with the double crochet and then join it to the top of the beginning front post double crochet. So that chaining two kind of just buries itself and you should have a total count of 24 of these stitches going all the way around. So let's just uh, quickly count those. Don't count the chain two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And you know what? I can assume that there's twenty-four because twelve took me halfway around. Let's begin round number three. So right now these double crochets that are in the front posts are the lines that are gonna go down and so we're now gonna separate those two out from each other in this time around for round number three. Let's chain two, one and two and let's go in and start. So it's one double crochet around the next front post double crochet. So this is the next one. Okay, it's the first one available and you're gonna do a front post double crochet. So that's gonna keep that line going up and the next stitch is right in between the space of just a double crochet. So that's a new stitch you're adding there and now the next one is a front post double crochet. So you're gonna make that front post double crochet once again and then the next one is your double crochet as normal. So that went into the space last time. So this time it's just right on top of each other. So let's review again. So the first one is a front post double crochet. So you're gonna keep it as a front post double crochet. The next one is gonna go into the space that set, that'll separate those front post double crochets. The next one is a front post double crochet again. And the next one is just a regular double crochet that's sitting there that we did last time and this time it just becomes one regular double crochet again. Just like that. So what this is doing is it's separating those two out and then making them further apart for this round for number three. Please do that all the way around. So coming up to the end of round number three you're gonna stop at the last double crochet that was there and you should have a total count of 32 uh, stitches going all the way around and then just join it to the top of the beginning. Um, first uh, double crochet uh, front pose just like that. It's easy to get uh, confused on this. I actually have my third outtake on this. I was actually getting confused in where I was so just uh, pay attention to your stitch counts on this. Not gonna lie to you. Things happen and that's life. So let's begin and move up to round number four. So round number four we're gonna chain two. Remember it doesn't count as anything and we move to the first front post double crochet and then what I want to show you here is that every time you get to the second one on the other side so it's just a, the, the um, double crochet here we're gonna expand it and put two into that one every time we're at that particular position. So let's just show you how to do the repeat. So the first one is a front post double crochet. The next one is just a regular double crochet. So that's two in a row. The next one is a front post double crochet and now the next one is gonna have two into the same one. So just go one and two and that's the repeat pattern for round number four. So let's show you again. The next one is a front post double crochet. The next one is a regular double crochet. The next one is a front post double crochet and then the next one is going to be two double crochets into the same one. Please do that all the way for round number four. Coming up to the end of round number four, the final stitch is gonna have two double crochets. There's nothing fancy there, just following the pattern as it states and repeating and then the final two is the two double crochets into the same. Let's join to the top of the front post double crochet to conclude off round number four. Let's move along and let's uh, do round number five. So round number five is again an expansion round and the expansion, see how it's expanded here that when we did it you got two into the same one. This time we're going to expand in between this group here. Okay, so you've already kind of expanded here. Do you see it? So we're gonna expand in this one here next this time. So let's chain up two for round number five and let's start with the front post double crochet and the next one is an expansion. So two double crochets into the same one. Okay, and that'll make it equal and then you're gonna go to the next front post double crochet to continue to follow that pattern and the expansion that you see in the row below here that's just one double crochet each this time. So by the time you end up with round number five you're gonna notice that it'll be equal amount of, of these double crochets in between these lines that you can see. So let's start the repeat pattern again. So the next one is a front post double crochet and then the next one is an expansion. You see that the, the lines are there. The next one is two into the same one. 
Okay, followed by a front post double crochet in the next one to keep that line moving. And then the next two, it's expansion from the row below to just one double crochet each. Please do this same idea going all the way around for round number five. And you'll see that it's starting to equal each other. So they're kind of like, um, it's like a pinwheel kind of thing. And you'll see that the spaces are all equal after this round. Please do that all the way. So I'm finishing up round number five. So the final two stitches are just one double crochet into each. So there was no expansion on the final round because it was already done right prior to there. So let's just join it to the top of the front post double crochet for round number five. So this is uh, looking pretty good so far. Let's move on and do round number six. So round number six is another expansion expansion round. So what we're gonna look at, just look at everything as like groups of two. Here just makes sense. So right now everything is equal. We have two here in between these spokes and then two here. So the next one expansion is gonna be after the second one and it's gonna be in this one here. We're gonna apply two double crochets into there and we're gonna keep repeating that all the way around. Let's go for number six. It's chain two, doesn't count as anything. So watch what we're gonna do. So front post double crochet around the first one. Okay, the next two double crochets are each gonna be a double crochet. Okay, so we're getting that to work, work out great. The next one is a front post double crochet and here's where the expansion is. So right, it's the next one and it's gonna be two double crochets into that same stitch. Okay, there's your expansion. And then the next one is just a regular double crochet into there and then you hit another spoke. So let's do the repeat pattern on this one. So the first one is a front post double crochet. The next two are just one double crochet each. Okay, the next one is a front post double crochet. And then the next stitch is two double crochets into that one because we're gonna do an expansion. And then the next one is just a regular double crochet and then you repeat again. So it's front post double crochet, one into each of the next two, another front post double crochet, two into this one here and then one double crochet into this one here and then you keep repeating. Please do that for round number six. So I'm finishing up round number six and I'm continuing the pattern as is and this one happens to be two into the same one because that's near the end of the repeat pattern and then the final is just one double crochet by itself. And then I just join it to the top at the beginning front post double crochet. So that concludes off round number six. Let's move on to number seven. So round number seven is another expansion round. So if you look at now the groups here, you have the two spike or the two spokes here. We expanded on this side after the second spoke. This side we're, this time we're gonna do it after the first one. So let's chain up two. So for round number seven, here's the repeat pattern. Front post double crochet first one. And then the next one is gonna have two into the same one. Okay, two front, uh, regular double crochets. So we're gonna expand on this side. And then the next one is a regular double crochet. Here's the front post double crochet which you can see. And then the remaining stitches until the next spoke is just one double crochet each and there's only three. So that's your repeat pattern. And I'm gonna repeat that one more time for you. So let's start again. First one is a front post double crochet. The next one is an expansion. So there's gonna be two into the same one. Just double crochet, two of them. And then the next one is just a regular double crochet. Okay, this one is a spoke. So that one's gonna be a front post double crochet. Okay, and then the remaining three will be each one double crochet each. And then you do the repeat pattern all over again. Please do that all the way around for round number seven. So let's finish off round number seven and I'm continuing and the last one is gonna be just a regular double crochet and then just join it to the top of the front post double crochet that we had started with. Now here's the thing. We're gonna start up in round number eight. Let's get right into it because it's a simple one and all we're just gonna do now is just one single crochet into each. These spokes are now completely done in this hat. So we're just gonna chain up one right into the same one that you just joined in, in with and then just one single crochet into each stitch going all the way around for number eight. And so please do that all the way around. So I'm coming up all the way around and I wanna point something out to you. Remember that chain two? It's right there. It looks like it's an extra stitch but it's not. Don't confuse that because you'll throw your counts out. Okay, so just single crochet right until the final one here. Don't look at that chain two because it's nothing and you just want to join it to the beginning of the single crochet. It's easy to get that confused in this particular pattern. 
sometimes when they use that in designs. So see it comes together quite nicely. Let's move along to round number nine. So round number nine is when we're gonna start changing the pattern a little bit in order to get those nice uh, bumps that you see in the hat. So I want you to look at these from a spoke point of view. You got two spokes and you have three uh, uh, double crochets right in the middle here. I want you to pay attention to that because it's important that you look for that. So what we're gonna do here, let's begin. We're gonna chain two, doesn't count as anything. And it says three uh, double crochet front posts around the next double crochet front post. So the next one right directly down and we're going to just go there. So you're gonna skip right over top of the single crochet line that you just did and go right for the front post of the row below that and do three front post double crochets around there. So you have three total. Okay, so you got that in. So you're going to skip the next stitch that was available to you. Go to the middle one of the three and there is going to be a double crochet into the single crochet there. Okay, so you are gonna play in that line there. So now you skip the next one and go right for the front post double crochet and there's gonna be a total of three double crochet front posts again. Do you see that? So you're only playing in the middle one of the three between these spokes. You get that one done, skip the first one, go to the middle one of the three and you're going to double crochet into the single crochet line. Skip the next one and that takes you to the next front post double crochet and you do three around that one. So please do that all the way around for round number nine. Okay and coming up all the way back around again skip the next one, go to the uh, double crochet into the middle single crochet and then just join it to the top of the front post double crochet because you're skipping the last one there and that brings that one into conclusion just like that. So let's jump all the way to number 10 very easily. It's the same as number eight. It's just chain one and then right into the same one that you did the join and into each stitch it's just one single crochet. Please do that all the way around one single crochet into each stitch. So I'm going into the very last one that I had and then I'm just going to slip stitch to the beginning single crochet. We're gonna move up to round number um, 11 and number 11, okay, so what's gonna happen in this particular pattern now going forward, you see these three uh, uh, front post double crochets? They're gonna appear again but they're gonna appear around the double crochets that you had placed two rows below, okay, right there. And so then you will notice that they kind of interlock each other on the photograph and so you'll put these every time you see a double crochet. So the difference between this round and other rounds is the fact that you gotta know where you're starting. So sometimes you start immediately on the front post double crochets to keep that pattern and sometimes you have to shift it over here. So this is number 11 and this is what you need to watch out for because you're gonna be repeating this pattern until the whole thing measures a total of eight eight inches. So when it's folded down like this you should be able to measure eight inches in this direction. So let me get you started for round number 11 and then we're gonna carry on in the pattern as normal. So we're going to slip stitch in the next um, stitch. Okay, so we're just gonna slip stitch in the next stitch here. Okay, and it's the middle one of the three that you had started with and now you are going to chain three. Okay, so one, two and three. Do you notice that it's in the middle of this? Keep an eye on that. It just makes sense. So now you're gonna do, skip the next one and the next one is the front post double crochet two rows below that and that's where you're gonna put in three double crochets in the front post. So one, two and three. And if you look back up now you have to skip one single crochet and look it's the middle one of this group of, of three and that's where you're gonna put a double crochet right there. Do You see that? So let's try it again. So you're looking and you can just skip one and go to the next one over for the front post double crochet for three of them or just look for it. And if your pattern's consistent and you trust in yourself you should be able to just a front post double crochet around that double crochet two rows below. Skip the next one but don't even worry about it. Just look for the group of three and then just double crochet into that single crochet up there. Okay, so look for the double crochet and I'm just gonna put my three in around that one. It's two rows below and then I'm just gonna look back up. Skip one but it is the middle one of these three anyway and it's a double crochet. Please do that all the way around for number 11. 
So as I come up all the way back around I want to just make sure that I got everything straight and remember that we chain three right at the very beginning. I want to uh, finish this one off which I did and I just want to join it to the top of the beginning chain three. So rows number 12 and 13 are gonna become the repeat pattern now until you get to eight inches tall. So let me show you how to do round number 12. Very simple. Chain up one and single crochet into the same one that you did the join and then single crochet into each one going all the way around. So the difference now is that round number 13 is gonna have us do a slip stitch in a certain amount in order for us to shift and now you'll see that the seam line will shift as you're moving up. So for now round number 12 is just one single crochet into each going all the way around and I'll see you back here in a second. So I'm coming up all the way around for round number 12 and we'll have to repeat this every other round until you get your eight inches and you get the last one in and you just slip stitch it to the top of the beginning just like that. Okay so let's begin and we're gonna do round number 13. So round number 13 is how we're gonna start each one of these now. You're gonna go from 12, 13, 12, 13 in order to get it finished. So this is 12 so let's do 13. It says slip stitch in each of the next two stitches. So what you want to do is that you want to get to the middle of this group of three and in order to get there you just slip stitch two and you're gonna do this every time you're repeating this round. So now you're in technically in the middle of that group of three. We're now going to chain up three which counts as a double crochet and we begin this stitch concept again but we look towards the next double crochet that's sitting by itself and we do another front post double crochet three times around that one. So we just keep shifting uh, over that two when we go to start for round number 13 in order to keep it consistent and the stitch work um, will have a different seam line as a result of it but then you won't see it because of the way it's operating anyway. So here's the next three group of three. You just put in a double crochet right in the top of that, that one there which is in the single crochet line and then move along. So just look for where these are and look for the middle double crochet. It's two rows below and do a front post double crochet three times. Okay and get that done and then look to this group of three and in the top single crochet put in a, a double crochet. So please do that repeat pattern all the way now for round number 13 and what I need you to do now going forward is that I need you to repeat rounds number 12 and 13 over and over and over until it measures eight inches in this direction. It'll take you a little bit time to get there and when I pick back up then we'll pick up that. Make sure that you end on round number 13. Do not fasten off but I will be stopping on round number 13 which is the current round that I'm currently on. So I'll see you back here in just a moment and then we're gonna start to do something different. So now I'm back and I was just off camera for a little bit and I was finishing up this and now I have my eight inches from the top to where I am now. So we're gonna do two rounds of the band first and then we're gonna begin the brim for creating that visor look. And so band number round number one and two are both the same so let's just get you started and you can do those. So that we're just one single crochet into each stitch going all the way around and then just fasten off our slip stitch to the first single crochet and then do it again. So do two rounds of single crochet going all the way around. Okay so I'm back and I've done two rows then of single crochet all the way around. We're now ready for the brim. The brim consists of 10 rows. So notice I said rows and not rounds. So we're not gonna go all the way around. We're gonna go all like more than halfway but we're not gonna go all the way around. So what I want you to do is that starting right where you are you need to chain up one and one single crochet in each and you only wanna do 46 this time. So we're gonna start with one there and I want you to continue so two, three, four and five and go all the way to 46 and meet me there. So I'm currently now at 44 so I'm gonna do 45 and 46. So that's it. So I didn't go all the way around and if I look at it from the other perspective this is where I started over here. Okay and so I've only gone a portion of the way around leaving the back of the head open. So what I'm gonna do for the next nine rows back and forth is the same thing. So I'm just gonna show it to you once. Chain up one and one single crochet in each. That's it and go all the way back to where you had started right here. Then turn your work and then chain up one, one single crochet back into each and do that for a total of 10 rows. So you've already done one, this is number two. So get that done and I'll see you back here in just a moment and I'll show you what mine looks like at that point. So it'll go, go back and forth and finish off your visor. So here we are. I have all of my 10 rows done and it looks like it's just coming straight out which is right. 
So what I wanna do now is I wanna fasten off my yarn and I wanna use a darning needle to hide in my, my ends. So I'm just gonna pull this through like this and I'm going to place this strand onto a darning needle. Like so. And if you go in and out of your work three times, you can technically hide this in real good. So just going in underneath the stitch work, don't go and touch that outside brim because that's what people are gonna see first. Going right underneath, go, go one time over. Okay, don't pull it too tight. You don't want to wreck your, your uniformity of the edge. And then going back in the other direction, just go through a different set of fibers. Go twice, so that's two. And then coming back in the other direction for three. This, will, this is gliding right through and now I can safely cut that right in the project now and you will never see the loose end ever hanging out. So what I have here is that I have the hat that's done and all I just need to do now is that I need to flip up these section right here. So if you look at the pattern you'll notice that this flips up into this section here and a button is sewn and holding that into position and you turn it around flip up the other side again matching so just to make sure it matches each other and then just sew a button on the other side. So just sew it right through and then it'll come right through and then it'll be permanently up in the position. So this here then creates the look of a beautiful brim right over top of your forehead and this comes up almost like um, um, Robin Hood kind of a concept and this is a really well shaped hat. So until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. Enjoy your new hat. This is called To The Peak Hat with yarnspirations.com. Have a good one. See ya. Bye.